Residents of St. Cuthbert's Mission have received 320 food and sanitization hampers provided by the Civil Defense Commission on Monday. This is the second distribution exercise made by the agency in the last two weeks. The Director General of the CDC, Major Luring Balance, told DPI that the hampers also contain items like the Vitone tonic, which is aimed to strengthen one's immune system. The Civil Defense Commission, um, just like any other um, non-governmental agency throughout Guyana, will continue as long, for as long as this pandemic um, is there, will continue to reach out to communities, of course under direction by the government and government task force at large. Deputy Director General also praised the protocols put in place by the community to help prevent the spread of COVID-19, adding that residents need to remain resilient in upholding them. These measures would not continue to be active if you don't check on it on a daily basis. And I said daily because of the rotation system you have in place, you may tend to have people that may want to slip it through. So on a daily basis, I would expect to see the community development officer, the two show, um, base air to check on regularly to see what is going on there and to further continue to enhance and educate and educate the masses within the community with regards to upholding the COVID guidelines. To show Ms. Beverly Klinglian thank to the ministry and the CDC team for the donation, noting that it would help those in need. We were here having some problem with food stuff at the early stage because the hamper that were bought in during last week, family already started to complain. So I took up the initiative to get on to my regional chairperson and explain to him all we are facing here, all the things that are happening in our village. So kind enough, I got a call this morning stating that the CDC will be here together with officials from the Ministry of Marine Affairs to bring us this afternoon the food hampers. Meanwhile, former Tushau and current village councillor Mr. Pierre Andrews told the DPI about his experience after contracting COVID-19. So about 18 years ago, I experienced, like I said, the symptoms. It was very mild, right? Uh, kind of lightheadedness and a uh, and a kind of uh, and a kind of cold sweat feeling, all right. Of course, at that time there was an outbreak, all right. The flu in the village, all right. And we had the assumption, okay, it's not it's not COVID because, of course, we talk about the symptoms, all right, about the fever and the shortness of breath and what's not. It was not there, right. So I don't. Um, the residents didn't really take it so serious. Andrews said he treated his symptoms as the flu until it was proven that he had contracted the virus. Well, I must say, you know, in all honesty, I was not too surprised right, because I know kids rampant and it's all over, right? And sometime or the other, all right, to uh, had a good chance to contract it. So well, I must say, I didn't panic in any way, right? I would have done had the information. Right, and they work in the vitamins and the B complex and the herbs. With this in mind, he is encouraging everyone to follow the guidelines implemented by the Ministry of Health to help curb the spread of the virus. At this moment, the community is on a complete lockdown as the COVID 19 task force, ministries of health, and the Amerindian Affairs and the CDC seek to stem the spread and provide relief to the residents.